Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you could update your Samsung Galaxy S2 to the official Android ICS 4.0.3. In order to get started, you need to visit the blog androiddevices.com and then go through the tips which we have mentioned here. To get started, you need to first back up all your private data, including your SMS, contacts, and your photos. Once you are done with the same, you need to proceed to the step 2 wherein you need to download the update package and also the Odin application. Once you have downloaded and extracted the same, you would get these files. And then next, you need to get your phone into the download mode. In order to get the, your phone into download mode, you need to switch off the device and then press the volume down key and the home key. And then, while you are simultaneously pressing this, you need to start the phone. That's pressing the power button. Once you are done with that, you would get the download mode symbol on the phone. If you are confused, you can just check out our video here. Next, you need to run the Odin application and connect the phone with your PC. And you would see that this area is in yellow, which means that the phone is successfully correct, connected. Next, in case the COM section doesn't turn yellow, you need to install the USB drivers and also go to the path settings, wireless and network under that USB settings and ensure that Samsung key is option is ticked. Once done, you need to go to Odin and select the PDA option. Let us just do that. And then select this file. So let's go here and select the PDA option followed by selecting this file. Once you are done, you need to proceed with the start off. Click on start and the update process will begin as you can see it would get struck for a minute but again as you can see in the progress log actually the process has initially started and you can see the progress here At the moment, you would see a pro, uh, status here along with the same. It's also been updated on the phone also. And the whole process won't take more than 5 to 10 minutes. The only time consuming effort would be the download of the firmware file, which is almost around 608 MB. Once you're done with this process, you need to reboot the phone and then go to the recovery mode. In order to get into the recovery mode, you need to press the volume up key and the home key along with the power on. Once you are on the recovery mode, you need to select the wipe data or factory reset option and then select wipe cache partition. Once this is done, reboot the phone and you would be into the new firmware that is Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 XXLPQ. So that's a quick video on how you could update your firmware. In case you have any queries, you can just feel free to ask your questions as you can see here below the article and get them solved. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.